Hey everybody, it's Chris. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day wherever you are on the planet today. I wanted to make one more video and I'll probably make more in the future because it is a convoluted subject and it's kind of hard to articulate, but I want to talk again about Archangel lineage. I want everybody to know that they are related to a very specific Archangel and here's why. In the beginning was Source Energy that which we would call God. It was the singularity, it was the force out of which all things came into being. However, we came into being in phases. There was a first phase of creation, a second phase of creation, and so on and so forth. And the first phase of creation partnered with source energy to bring about the second phase of creation. Then the second and the first phases of creation partnered with source energy to bring about the third phase of creation, and so on and so forth. Who were those beings created in the first phase? Well, they were the archangels. Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, Uriel, etc., etc. All of these beings with the, were the first beings ever to be created by God. And then God partnered with those archangels to create the second phase of creation, which contained classes of angels, subclasses, if you will, along with other interdimensional beings and masters and guides, etc. Then all beings in that second phase and the archangels of the first phase partnered with God to bring about the third phase of creation, and so on and so forth. And now here we are, so many phases later, brought into creation from an admixture of all of these beings. The first beings being the archangels. How exciting. That means there is a very specific archangel that brought you into being with source energy. And you can identify archangel personalities pretty easily because archangels, while having very similar energy to source energy or creation energy, they have their own individual aspects, personalities, if you will. For example, Michael is a very protective and strong and powerful and justice-driven energy. Gabriel, in contrast, is a very communicative energy. He helps writers and communicators and artists, etc., etc. So you have these different archangels all coming directly from source who have their own aspects, then giving birth to the next phase. So they have their own subclasses of angels. Underneath Michael, there are subclasses of angels. And then from Michael and the subclasses of angels is created another phase of masters and interdimensionals. And these all have the attributes of Michael. And so look around. You'll see people with very protective energy, very strong, forceful, justice-driven energy. These are Michael people. These people very likely have their heritage with Michael. You'll see people who are healers, naturally heart-driven. They like to put their hands on people. They like to help them. They like to serve them. They like to heal them. Those people probably come from Raphael energy. They're probably descendants of Raphael the Archangel. We all have a very specific Archangel who brought us into being. So we can access all of the Archangels anytime for whatever reason we simply have to call to them and ask for their assistance and then give Give them specific permission to work on our behalf, but we also, in addition to having access to all of those angels, have a very unique connection with just one of those angels. So think about it. Who do you think your archangel grandfather is? What traits and attributes and aspects do you have that most resemble an archangel? Look at those things, compare and contrast, and you are likely to find your own personal archangel lineage.